Hi dear students, this is me Gulzar. Today we'll be discussing about the divisibility test. What numbers are divisible by which number? And what is the criteria for a number to be divisible by a particular number? Let's first of all start with 1. 1 is the number by which any number is divisible. 1 can divide any integer. Given a number which is an integer is divisible by 1. Now discuss about the divisibility test by an integer 2. A number is divisible by 2 which is even. Odd numbers are not divisible by 2. So the number which is even is divisible by 2. If we have a big number for example 1, 2, 8 or 1, 2, 9. The number which ends with an even number is divisible by 2. A number which does not end with the even number is not divisible by 2. Now divisibility by 3. A number is divisible by 3 if its sum of digits is divisible by 3. For example, if we take a number 381 381 we add its digits as 3 plus 8 plus 1 which comes out to be equal to 12 12 is divisible by 3 so the number 381 is divisible by 3 let's take another number 217 if we add its digits 2 plus 1 plus 7 which is equal to 10 and 10 is not divisible by 3. So the given number 217 is not divisible by 3. This rule can be repeated when we need it. If we take a big number 99,996. 99996. We add its digits. It becomes 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 6. That comes out to be equal to 41. 41 is again combination of two digits that is 4 and 2. If we add 4 and 2 that becomes 6. 6 is divisible by 3. So the given number 99,996 is divisible by 3. Divisibility test by 4. A number is divisible by 4 if the last two digits are divisible by 4. For example, if we take a number 1312. Let us check whether it is divisible by 4 or not. We take its last two digits that is 1 and 2. 12. 12 is div divisible by 4. So we can conclude that 1312 is divisible by 4. If we take another number, 7019, 7019. If we take its last two digits, that is 1919. 19 is not divisible by 4. So the given number, 7019 is not divisible by 4. A quick check is useful for small numbers. If we half the number twice and the result is still a whole number then we can conclude that a number is divisible by 4 for example if we check whether 12 is divisible by 4 or not let's half it that is 6 let's again half it that is 3 which comes out to be a whole number so 12 is divisible by 4 if we take another example, 30, let's half it first. That comes out to be 15. Again half it. That comes out to be 7.5, which is not a whole number. So, 30 is not divisible by 4. Divisibility by 5 is very easy. We know the multiples of 5 end with 5 or 0. So the number which ends with 0 or 5 is divisible by 5. Or you can say a number having 5 or 0 at units place is divisible by 5. For example, 175 ends at 5. 
So 175 is divisible by 5. And the number 809, which ends with 9. So it is not divisible by 5. Dear students, let's now discuss about the divisibility test by 6. Since 6 has 2 prime factors, 2 and 3. So a number is divisible by 6 if it is divisible by 2 and it is divisible by 3. Or we can say a number is divisible by 6 if it passes two rules. Number one rule, it is divisible by two. And number two rule, it is divisible by three. So, we can say a number is divisible by six if it is an even number and it is divisible by three. Let's take an example. One, one, four. Let us check whether it is divisible by six or not. First of all, it is an even number, of course. Now, let's check whether it is divisible by three or not. If we add its digits, one, one, four, that comes out to be equal to six. Six is divisible by three. So, one, one, four is first even number and then it is divisible by three. So, we can conclude it is divisible by six. Let's take another example, 308, 308, though it is an even number, but if we check its divisibility by 3, we add its digits, 3 plus 0 plus 8, that is 11, 11 is not divisible by 3, so though 308 is an even number, but it is not divisible by 3, so we can conclude 308 is not divisible by 6. Dear students, let's now discuss about the divisibility by 7. A number is divisible by 7 if we double the lost digit and subtract it from the number made by the other digits. The result must be divisible by 7. We can apply this to this rule to answer a number. If we take a number 672, its last digit is 2. Let's double it. That becomes 4. If we subtract 4 from the remaining digits, that is 67. 67 minus 4 is 63. Since 63 is divisible by 7, Therefore, we can conclude that 672 is a number divisible by 7. If we take another number, 105, 105, let's double the last digit, that is 5, it becomes 10. If we subtract 10 from the remaining digits, that is 10, 10 minus 10 is 0, that is again divisible by 7. So, we can conclude that 105 is divisible by 7. Let's take another example, 905, if we double the last digit, that is 5, 5 when doubled becomes 10. If we subtract 10 from 90, that is 80, 80 is not divisible by 7. So, we can conclude that 905 is not divisible by 7. Dear friends, let's now discuss the divisibility by 8. A number is divisible by 8 if its last three digits are divisible by 8. Let's take an example. We take a number 1,9816. If we take its last three digits, that is the digits at units place, tens place and hundreds place. That is 816. 816 divided by 8 comes out to be equal to 102. Yes. So, 816 is divisible by 8. So, we can conclude that 1,9816 is divisible by 8. Let's take another example. 21 lakh. 
If we take its last three digits, that is the digits at units, tens and hundreds place, that is 302. 302 when divided by 8 comes out to be a fraction. So, 302 is not divisible by 8. So, we can conclude that 21,6302 is not divisible by 8. Dear friends, there is an alternative rule. And I think it is an interesting rule and an easy one. A quick check is to half three times the number and the result is still the whole number. We can conclude that the number is divisible by 8. Let's take a number 816. If we half it, it comes out to be equal to 408. If we again half it, it comes out to be equal to 204. That's again, third time, half it, it becomes 108, a whole number. So, it is divisible by 8. Another example is 302. If we half it, it becomes 151. Again, half it, it becomes 75.5, which is not a whole number. So, 308... 302 is not divisible by 8. Now, a simple example, 24. If we half it, it becomes 12. If we again half it, it becomes 6. If we again 3 times half it, it becomes 3, which is a whole number. So, the number 24 is div is divisible. This is the divisibility test by now it is time to discuss the divisibility by 9. A number is divisible by 9 if sum of its digits is divisible by 9. If we take a simple example 27 and we want to check whether 27 is divisible by 9 or not, we add its digits. 2 plus 7 that becomes 9. 9 is divisible by 9. So, we can conclude that 27 is divisible by 9. This rule can be repeated when needed. If we take an example, 1629, we sum its digits. Its digits are 1 plus 6 plus 2 plus 9, that is 18. Stop. Don't test it here. Let's add again the digits of 18, that is 1 plus 8, that is 9. 9 is divisible by 9, so we can conclude that 1629 is divisible by 9. Another example is 2013, 2013. Let's add its digits, 2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 3. That is 6. 6 is not divisible by 9. So, 2013 is not divisible by 9. Dear students, divisibility by 10 is very simple. Since we know that all the multiples of 10 end with 0. So, we can conclude that any number that ends with 0 is divisible by 10. Or any number having 0 on its units place is divisible by 10. Dear students, let's now discuss a very important number that is 11. And let's discuss divisibility by 11. The rule for divisibility by 11 is that add and subtract the digits in alternating pattern. That means Add digit, subtract next digit, add next digit, subtract next digit and go on. Then check if the answer is divisible by 11. Let's have an example. If we take a number 1364, let's take plus 1, then minus 3, then plus 6, then minus 4. The result comes out to be equal to 0, since 0 is divisible by 11, so 1364 is divisible by 11. Another example is 913. If we take 9 
I mean plus 9 minus 1 plus 3 that is 11 11 is again divisible by 11 so 913 is divisible by 11 another example is 3729 let's take plus 3 minus 7 plus 2 minus 9 that is minus 9 sorry that is minus 11 again divisible by 11 so 3729 is divisible by 11 another example is 987 if we take plus 9 minus 8 plus 7 that is 8 it is not divisible by 11 so 987 is not divisible by 11 Dear students, lastly, let us discuss about the divisibility of 12. A number is divisible by 12 if it is divisible by 3 and 4 separately. Since 12 is factorized as 3 and 4 or 12 is equal to 3 into 4, so a number is divisible by 12 if it is divisible by 3 and 4. That means it passes both the tests, that is the test of divisibility by 3 and the test of divisibility by 4. Let's take an example. We take a number 648. Let's check its divisibility by 3. We add its digits as 6 plus 4 plus 8, that is 18. 18 is divisible by 3. So 648 passes the divisibility test of 3. Now, let us check the divisibility test of 4. We take its last digits, that is 48. 48 is divisible by 4. So, 648 passes both the tests, that is the test of divisibility by